Welcome to our first Take and Make Monday. I'm Mike. And I'm Kristen. And this is a new program where you can stop by the library, get one of these bags that has all the supplies in it for today's activity. It is called Take and Make Monday. You can stop by any time this week for this bag. This will be outside for curbside pickup. We are going to be making a DIY bouncy ball today. We have the instructions in there. We also have some other activities uh, scheduled for the summer here. And what can we find inside the bag? Well, everything that you're going to need pretty much for this activity. We have glue in there for you. We have borax and we have a little bit of cornstarch. So Kristen and I are going to go through and go through the steps that you could follow along on your sheet when you pick that up or you can do this at home. And we do need two additional cups, right? So in addition to the supplies in your bag, you're also going to need some warm water, at least four ounces of warm water, some empty cups for mixing everything up in, a spoon or a stick, something to stir with, and food coloring, but that is optional. If you want to add color to your bouncy ball, that's how you're going to do that. So once you have all those supplies ready, you can get started. Cool. So the first thing we're going to do is combine four ounces of warm water and one teaspoon of borax in a cup. And just mix it up and dissolve it as best as you can. So when that's mixed up, you're going to set that aside, you're going to start with your other cup, and you're going to add a tablespoon of glue into this cup. And if you want to add food coloring, this is the step you're going to do it. So you'll add three to four drops of food coloring right into the glue and mix that up. It's really bright. It is. Should I be mixing this up or squishing this around at all? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can mix it up. Okay. So once you have your food coloring mixed up in the glue, you're going to add half a teaspoon of that borax mixture that you made before into the glue cup. Before you stir it, you're also going to add a tablespoon of cornstarch into the glue cup as well. And when you add these, you don't want to stir it right away. You want to let it sit for 10 to 15 seconds. So after it sits for a little bit, start to stir up your mixture. And it should quickly become kind of difficult to mix. You want to mix it as best you can. It's going to be a little sticky. When it gets too difficult to stir after a while, then you're going to take out the mixture and start kneading it with your hands. When you're mixing it, if you find that your mixture is a little too sticky and it's not coming together, try adding just a little bit more of the borax solution and see if that helps. So once it starts to look something like that, you're going to want to take it out with your hands and start to knead it. So just keep kneading and rolling the ball in between your hands to turn it into a smooth, round, bouncy ball. It's going to start out wet and sticky, but the longer that you knead it, you can feel it drying out and forming into a bouncy ball. And after just a couple of minutes... Yeah, let's try it. Let's see if it works. Not bad. And this is... This is like pad. So keep kneading and rolling the bouncy ball in between your hands. It's going to start out really wet and sticky, but the longer that you knead it and sort of shape it into a ball, it's going to dry out and you can feel it getting firmer. And after a couple minutes, you should have a bouncy ball. So that is our DIY bouncy ball, and you should have enough supplies in your kit to make at least two of them. 
Yeah. So we hope you had fun with this uh, activity here. Uh, and we will have, just like in our little uh, sheet here, we will have an activity for each week. So week of seven, six, we'll have DIY scratch art. So make sure that you come by the library, pick up one of these, a new take and make bag. All right, well, thanks for watching. Be sure to check with us next week, next Monday. Bye.